The quiz is the fastest form of assessment you can set up inside the Education Perfect platform. You can do so from here and the assessments tab, which you can navigate to on the left. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can set yourself up with a quiz and some of the benefits of doing so. As mentioned, we're here inside the assessments tab and when we click on the assign button, we have met with the option of setting a quiz or an assessment. When we select this option here on the right assessment, it will then filter our library down onto any pre-created assessments. But if we're creating something on the fly, then the quiz here is our best option. The flow through for setting up our quiz is very similar for setting up a task with a few extra considerations here. When we're up the top, we can see we have our different classes to select from. We can set for more than one class. In doing so, we will later be able to filter results down based on the classes. So if we want to group all of our data together from this quiz, then select all the classes that you need. You can also select from more classes that aren't in your name by selecting the all classes option, and that will allow you to set assessments in a different way as well. Moving further down, we can select the date and time. Again, we can set this up for one particular lesson and point in the school calendar, or we can set this up to run for a week. There are different ways that we can gauge students in and out of the quiz. So that is how you will be adjusting the date and time, but that will all depend on the nature of the quiz you're trying to set up. When we get down to selecting our content, this is really where our quiz starts to come together. Clicking on the content option will launch you through into our library where you can go through and select any of the lessons you want to form the basis of your question banks. If I click through here into these New South Wales science lessons, I can select these five lessons here in place. Now, as you see, I'm selecting these lessons and it is taking the closed questions from each of these lessons into account. You can see I've got five lessons selected. And when I confirm that selection, the system is going to tell me that of these five lessons selected, there's 48 different questions to choose from. I can now go about setting my quiz with the basis of these 48 questions used to create the quiz itself. For this example, I want to draw evenly from each of these lessons and I want to get a pretty decent idea of how my students are doing. So I'm going to select a 30 question quiz for this. The reason I'm selecting this is that the system will draw from each of the lessons that are here in your content area as equally as possible. So in this case, we're going to get six questions from each lesson to make up our total of 30. Now, by default, the system will also generate a unique attempt for each student. This means that each student is going to get 30 questions and they're going to get the same structure of those 30 questions where they're getting six from each lesson. But the questions that each student gets are going to be different. The order they appear and the answers for those are going to be different as well. So if I am looking at a situation like this where I have three different classes and I've got 30 different questions that I'm asking, there's a very good chance that I get all 48 questions asked across all of these students. Now, of course, if you want all students to get the same 30 questions, we simply just flick this dial off and then all students are going to get those same 30 questions. They will be in a different order and the answers will be in a different order inside of the assessment itself, but they're all going to be given those same 30 questions. For the rest of the demonstration, though, I'm going to keep that on as that's how I want to run this actual assessment. As we move through the remaining options, they're fairly straightforward. We can have a time limit for the test or we can remove it. We can adjust the time. I'm going to adjust mine down and we can give our assessment a name and add any extra instructions that we'd like. As we come further down, we look at our recommended next steps, which is a way that we can issue students with work based on their performance here in this assessment. We'll have a specific video looking at this, how it works and the different applications for it in future. Uh, you might opt to leave that on or off. If you're gonna to opt to leave it on and it's your first time using this, then I would encourage you to set a limit on the amount of uh, lessons that students could be assigned. Perhaps you wanna limit that down to one lesson or set it down as an amount of hours down to one. As we move forward as well, we have some additional options here. We'll go through those in a separate video because all of this changes the nature of your quiz or assessment if you're doing an assessment that's here. So we'll cover those off in more detail. So for now though, we'll get this one assigned and we can work our way through getting us off to our students. With the assessment assigned, we've now got a space where we can edit and change any of those details before the students actually start to sit this assessment. And of course, we can copy a link to share with them. And depending on the LMS you have in place, if it's Google Classroom, you'll have some options here to share with them. So this has been a quick overview of setting up a quiz. If you have any questions, just reach out and get in touch. We're here to help however we can.